Hello students, let us take up a problem on estimation of RCC slab culvert. What is a culvert? Culvert is a cross drain structure provided in highways, railways, canals, etc. having the clear span less than 6 meter. Various types of culverts are provided based on the span of the culvert, types of, type of road, terrain conditions and so on. The various types of colors uh, being provided are RCC slab culvert, pipe culvert, box culvert, arch culvert, steel girder culvert, etc. RCC slab culvert are economical for spans up to about 8 meter. The bridges are provided for spans greater than 8 meter. The components of culvert with RCC deck slab are the following. A. Deck slab B. Abutments and wing walls. C. Foundations. D curbs and rail, railings etc. The width of the roadway is fixed based on the need of the one way road or two way road. The width of roadway is 4 meter for village roads in mountainous terrain. Now let us uh, understand more about parts of culvert. Now look at the sketch given. The abutment. These are the end supports of the bridge. For slab culvert there are two abutments. The deck slab is resting on the abutment. The deck slab is provided at the road level. The width of abutment is equal to 0.4 meter and width of drain below is 2.5 meter. Next is the wing wall. It is a retaining wall which supports the embankments of the approach road. There are three types of uh, wing walls. Splayed type, straight type and return type wing wall. In the figure return type wing wall is provided. It's a type of wing wall built parallel to the road. Bed concrete in foundation. It is provided for both abutment and wing wall. The thickness of bed concrete is 0.3 meter and depth of abutment below the ground level is 0.3 meter again. Total height of abutment is equal to 2 meter. Height of a parapet wall is equal to 0.8 meter. Size stone masonry is used both for abutment and wing walls. There are six items in the estimate. One, earthwork excavation for abutment and wing walls. Two, bed concrete using CC148 for abutment and wing walls. Three, size stone masonry in cement mortar, one is to four, for abutments, wing walls and parapet walls. And item number four is RCC deck slab. Item number five is reinforcement uh, for deck slab. Item, item number 6 is wearing coat above the deck slab. Note that detailed estimate table format is same as that of building estimate. The various columns in the table are item number, particulars of items, number, length, breadth, depth or height, quantity and remarks. Remarks columns gives uh, minor calculations of length, breadth or depth. Let us uh, begin with item 1. Earthwork excavation for A. Abutments. There are two abutments at each side of drain which are the supports for the RCC deck slab. The length of abutment is equal to width of roadway that is 4.5 meter plus two abutments of a thickness 0.4 meter each plus two offset in bed concrete that is 0.15 meter each so total length of abutment becomes 5.6 meter width of ex excavation is equal to 0.7 meter that is total of 0.4 plus 0.15 plus 0.15 refer the sketch for the dimensions depth of foundation below ground level is equal to 0.3 plus 0.3 is equal to 0.6 meter then quantity is equal to product product of number length breadth and depth is equal to 4.71 meter cube similarly uh, there are four wing walls two each on either side of both sides of road. Length of wing walls is 
mentioned in the elevation in the sketch is equal to 1.6 meter. Width and thickness of excavation for wing walls is same as that of abutment. Then quantity is equal to 2.69 meter cube. Total excavation quantity is equal to 7.4 meter cube. Item number 2, bed concrete using CC 1 is to 4 is to 8, that is cement concrete 1 is to 4 is to 8 for abutments and wing walls. Bed concrete is provided for the full dimension, that is length and breadth of the excavation. Therefore, length and breadth of excavation and length of breadth of length and breadth of bed concrete is always same. Thickness of bed concrete is equal to 0.3 meter and quantity of bed concrete for abutment is equal to 2.35 meter cube and for wing walls is equal to 1.34 meter cube total quantity of bed concrete is equal to 3.69 meter cube item number 3 size stone masonry in cm 1 is to 4 cement mortar 1 is to 4 size stone masonry is provided for abutments wing walls and parapet walls even though the abutments and wing walls are built monolithic, they are considered separate for extracting the dimensions from the sketch. Coming to abutment, the length of abutment is equal to width of roadway that is 4.5 meter plus thickness of wing wall at both sides of abutments that is 2 times 0.4 meter. Height of abutment is equal to depth of abutment below ground level that is 0.3 meter plus height of abutment below the deck slab that is 1.5 meter plus thickness of deck slab 0.2 meter and total height is 2 meter. Therefore, the quantity of masonry for abutment is equal to 8.48 meter cube. Next, SSM that is size stone masonry for wing walls. The height and thickness of wing walls is same as abutment as per the data and sketch given. Therefore, its quantity of S size stone masonry is equal to 5.12 meter cube. Next, parapet walls. Parapet wall or the guard wall is provided on both sides of roadway at the culvert site. Length of parapet wall is calculated as total of width of stream that is 2.5 meter plus 2 times the width of abutment wall that is 2 into 0.4 plus 2 times length of wing walls that is 2 into 1.6 therefore total it becomes 6.5 meter width of parapet is equal to 0.4 meter given and height is equal to 0.8 meter given in the sketch therefore quantity of stone masonry for parapet wall is equal to 4.16 meter cube add stone masonry for abutment wing wall and parapet together total quantity becomes 17.76 meter cube from this quantity, quantity deduct for deck slab bearing part at the top of the abutment that is equal to length of the bearing which is calculated as length of abutment and width of bearing is for the deck slab on the abutment is 0.3 meter and the thickness of slab inside masonry is 0.2 meter that is thickness of slab. Hence deduction quantity becomes 0.64 meter cube and net quantity of size stone masonry is equal to 17.12 meter cube. Next, item number 4, RCC deck slab. It is the size of the color slab. L length is equal to width of the stream plus 2 times bearing on each abutment. That is equal to 2.5 plus 2 times 0.3. That is equal to 3.1 meter. And breadth of deck slab is equal to width of roadway 4.5 meter plus 2 times width of wing wall that is 2 into 0.4 meter. Therefore, total width of deck slab is equal to 5.3 meter and thickness of slab is equal to 0.2 meter given and quantity of deck slab becomes 3.29 meter cube. Item number 5 reinforcement for deck slab given that the amount of reinforcement is equal to 2% of RCC quantity. So it is 2% uh, of uh, 3.29 meter cube which is multiplied by the 
density of steam that is 7850 7850 kilogram per meter cube which works out to 516 kilograms item number six wearing coat 10 centimeter thick the length of wearing coat is equal to total of width of the stream plus uh, width of abutment at, at each side that is 2.5 plus 2 times 0.4 that is equal to 3.3 .3 meter the width of wearing coat is equal to width of roadway is equal to 4.5 meter and thickness of wearing coat given as 0.1 meter therefore quantity becomes 1.49 meter cube if the rates of construction of these items mentioned above are known then the total cost of culvert can be estimated using abstract estimate table so by now this is the end of the problem namaskar